My name is Raisa Bruslail and welcome to the Argyle International Airport episode of The Journey Up. The Journey Up is a historical look along the aviation timeline of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Notwithstanding the fact that St. Vincent and the Grenadines had five airports by the early 1990s, there still remained a very real limitation of direct international air access. On August 8, 2005, an announcement was made that the new international airport will be built at Argyle, which is located on the southeast end of the main island, St. Vincent. The newly built Argyle International Airport boasts a 9,000 foot long runway, which facilitates aircraft ranging from twin otters to large commercial jets, such as the Boeing 747. Argyle International Airport was constructed to accommodate 1.2 million travelers per year with a cargo terminal for imports and exports. It is equipped with modernized landing and navigational aids along with a fully lit runway, taxiway, and apron for night operations. Two terminal buildings for international and domestic flight were built to process 1,000 passengers per hour for arrival or departure. The international terminal is equipped with three elevators, two escalators for ease of movement throughout the building, and two state-of-the-art glass-framed jet bridges for international travel and docking of large commercial aircraft. The Argyle International Airport marks a significant milestone in aviation history as it takes St. Vincent and the Grenadines further into the future as we continue the journey up.